brief. Brief exposure to tiny air pollution particles triggers childhood lung infections and causes more hospitalizations. That's what researchers at Intermountain Medical Center found after participating in the largest study of its kind. They found the strong association between that air and acute lower respiratory infections. And Dr. Benjamin Horn is the director approach. of cardiovascular and genetic epidemiology at Intermountain Medical there Center Heart Institute. He was also the lead author in the study that tracked more than 146,000 people in an 18-year period. Most of the patients were children under two who had infections treated in hospitals and clinics in Utah. RSV and the clinical symptoms called, that's called bronchiolitis that uh, we found that there's a, a increased risk about a 15 percent increased risk for every 10 additional micrograms per cubic meter of PM 2.5 air pollution. Doctors found bad air increases the amount of respiratory infections especially among infants. What surprised researchers was discovering a prolonged incubation period between exposure to pollution and the time the patient came to the hospital with RSV. There was uh, uh, unique and surprising to us was that delay uh, looking at, at the two to three week time period and, and it's very predictable. For instance, earlier this week, we saw a windstorm that spiked our bad air into an unsafe zone. The study would suggest that within three weeks, clinics and hospitals would see an increase of patients, especially infants, suffering from RSV. Having that predictability can help healthcare providers prepare. So we can potentially schedule for uh, greater nursing support and, and technicians. We can look at supply chain and getting the right materials to the right clinics and hospitals at the right time and so forth that can help to improve the outcomes of the patients so they have shorter hospital stays and recover more quickly. Dr. Horn at Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute says it's important to prevent exposure to bad air by staying indoors, keeping children's playtime inside, avoid high traffic areas, including roadways or where there are a lot of cars. If you must be outside, do your activities in the morning. You can prevent infections by washing your hands frequently. Don't touch your eyes, nose, and mouth, and avoid crowds and large groups of people. What can I do today to reduce my risk of infection? What can I do to avoid the exposure to air pollution? To, to remind yourself, I need to be more vigilant. The study was a team effort with Intermountain Med uh, Healthcare, Brigham Young University, and the University of Utah. It was published in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. The study has been picked up by the New York Times and other global news publications.